Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Urg and welcome back to Urg Vibes channel which is all about self-growth, personal improvements, manifestation and today is our fourthiest video, fourthiest. We've come a long way. The weather is a bit cloudy today but we don't care about that because we know it's nothing bad at all. It's only our perception of bad weather. We ain't talking about that today. Today we are here for them relationships. Why do I love partners so much, but at the same time they hurt us so much. It kind of, it's weird. We know we get so much crap in our lives when we're in relationships, but at the same time, they're also so cute and pretty and comfortable. Yeah, whatever. These are three reasons why you are still single. Before I start, you just gotta know that this video is meant more for my bros out there because that's who I am and I know better how things work between guys, you know? But the thing is that masculine and feminine energy are kind of balancing in a person, in everybody. So maybe if you're a girl, you may still get a lot of value out of this video. Well, you probably will. Yeah, because these principles I'm gonna talk about are pretty generic. The first reason is that you don't know what you want. If you don't know what you want, how, how, what are you even searching for, you know? And in the sense of manifestation or law of attraction, well, you're just letting the universe know that you don't even know who you want, who you want to be in a relationship with. Just imagine having a conversation with a girl you fancy. And in this conversation, you will act as someone who doesn't really know why he's talking with this girl in the first place. And she'll definitely feel that. She will feel not appreciated that much. She won't feel her role in this conversation. And after all, why would be she having this conversation with you if there's a big chance she won't be your significant other in the future anyways? Or well, maybe to friend zone you. <laughs> We've all been there, guys, don't worry, you're definitely not alone and you'll learn to get over that. Nonetheless, you gotta know what you want because otherwise you won't know what to work for. It's an universal law. If you don't know what job you want, you'll just end up with some random job for which you won't even know if you like it or not. The second reason why you're still single is pretty similar to the first one. You don't know who you are. Are you serious? You don't know who you are? It's common sense to know, right? You would be surprised how many people don't know themselves. Actually, a big majority of people don't know themselves and that sucks big time. For me, not really. It sucks for you. Imagine a conversation with a girl again. She's talking to you and she asks you, so what do you do in your life? And you're like, uh, um, I do stuff. And well, that's not really interesting, is it? <laughs> She'd be like, oh, hmm, well, this guy invited me out and uh, I don't even know who he is. And what's worse is that even he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> what am I even putting myself in? As I understand energies, the feminine energy is more of a creative one in some way. It's based more on feelings than anything else. And so us men gotta balance it out with the masculine energy, which knows, which is masculine energy is based on logic. And we gotta blend these two energies together for a beautiful whole, like whole brain wheat. Of course, there are some exceptions and I still believe that we have to find the balance within ourselves first. But well, there's still some truth to that, so Know who you are. Be a man. I love those TikToks. I used to watch them. I don't watch TikTok anymore because it's just a waste of life. I mean, the content is so low quality. It's like, it's crazy how people are still watching it. I understand them, but like, no, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not consuming that shit. It's like McDonald's for food. And now the third reason, which I believe is arguably the most important, is that you do not hold your value. This does everything with your self-confidence. If you're not self-confident, you don't know how precious you are. You don't know how much value you're bringing to the table. It goes very much hand in hand with the second reason that you don't know who you are. Because when you do, you know what you're working for. You know what you want in life. You know how to walk to a girl and be like, look, I like you. Be my girlfriend. 
<laughs> yeah, imagine just saying that in real life. That would be so funny. If I was a girl, I'd be just like, yo, I don't even know who you are, but that was so cool. Let's go out. <laughs> Nonetheless, I've been just having a conversation with my client and he said that he used to do all these beautiful things to her. He gave her so much attention. He paid for meals. He drove to her city to visit her. Like, that's really cool. That's pretty. It's beautiful. But my dear friend, <laughs> that's what gets you in friend zone, which is so sad. I've been there. It's so freaking unfair, but that's how girls work. Unfortunately, they don't appreciate stuff. But let me tell you what's the bigger truth behind it, because it may seem very unfair. But the thing is that the more attention you give to someone, to anyone, the more self-evident you will become to them. And well, self-evident things don't really hold their value, do they? Just look at the world, clothes, cars, shoes, the rarer they are, the higher value they have. It's as simple as that. If you're someone who is available 24 seven, like they can have you all the freaking time. You're disposable all the freaking time. And as it is with shoes, your value goes down as well. I'm not saying that you're not valuable, uh -uh, not at all. We are all valuable. We are all so much more than we think, so much more than anyone can imagine. But it's all about how you show yourself to other people, how you make other people treat you. The way you treat yourself is the way everybody will treat you. So it's so important to get to know yourself, to find your values first. If you don't, well, you're just another kid out there who doesn't know what he wants. And trust me, there are so many guys like that already. Also, one thing you gotta keep in mind that if you go past these insecurities and stuff, if you will find yourself, if you know what you want, you'll lose so much competition out there. Girls want grown-ups, you know, and as men, we gotta grow up. That doesn't mean that we don't have negative feelings anymore, that we won't get sad, that we won't get angry. Nah, not at all. Not a freaking all. Knowing yourself is knowing yourself for who you are. It is not becoming some jerk who's like, yeah, baby, let's go f and she'll get all wet. No, it doesn't work like that. The prettiest you will ever get is by being yourself. And when you are yourself, your true energy comes out so easily and there's so much of it and it is felt by so many people around you, especially the ones who are interested in this, you'll obviously be putting more of you towards them. Not too much. You know, the thing is when you figure out life, when you figure out who you are, all these things become self-evident. You won't be striving for attention so much. Be mine, be mine, look, I'm do everything for you. Cause girls don't want that. Don't do everything for them. Do everything for you. And then what's left, you can give to them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. Like this video if you liked it, comment. If you have anything to say, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. Keep shining, keep loving yourself. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.